I am getting the creeps because um, Britain, of course, Rishi Sunak, the rather rather diminutive and diminished, um, in the immortal words of George Galloway, Prime Minister of Great Britain, he called an election several months early, yeah. and this is now the election is now um, the campaign is under full swing. Um, I am very glad I'm not around to have to suffer through it. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, my 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 former home country. Um, the, but yeah, the, so he called election six months early when he didn't need to. Um, and now Macron or Micron in France has done the exact same. And he's done that in response to very, very bad uh, performance of his party in the European election. Yeah. And he's just dissolved parliament and called new uh, called the new vote. Um, now, the FT has analysed the polling. Um, it looks like Macron's party uh, is going to get absolutely creamed um in the election which is to say decimated in the next election yeah. which he voluntarily called for no apparent reason whatsoever right. um and it, it so just g going over these these details the far right block which is led by um uh le pen's um uh, marie le pen's party uh, it is um that's in the lead, in the lead in 362 separate parliamentary seats mm -hmm. Um, the left bloc, the Popular Front, is in the lead in two hundred. Melanchon. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah, Melanchon is in the lead in two hundred and eleven, and Macron's party is in the lead in just three, three. Um, so they're going to get absolutely wiped out. This could be the end of Micronism in um, yeah. in in France entirely. Now you have to wonder: is this just completely inept? political bungling and hubris believing that he it, that his party was going to do very well yeah or does he know something is coming <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> like and let's bearing, get the active measures take yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, because like, bearing bearing in mind that the, the british and the french elections are basically going to be held at the same time yeah um, it, the, the Belgian Prime Minister has also resigned do they know something dark is ahead and they don't want to be around for it yeah. That's that's quite worrying. And then you have um, the the, uh, the Serbian president uh, Vucic here stating there's going to be a world war in three to four months time. Yeah, he usually seems to know what's going on. Is can usually go a lot further than other leaders in discussing what's going on. Uh, following the uh, the Crocus attack in in Moscow, he said there is one power that does this, and it's not the U.S. He was talking about Britain. Yeah, uh, very clearly. Um, yeah, do they know that there is a major conflict coming and they're just get just getting out while they still can to retire to their bunkers? Yeah, I uh, think so. Money, and, and, then, money. <laughs> and then and then they can blame either the far left or the far right for their response to such a thing if if there were to be yes. uh, something like that. How is Keir Starmer doing? Um, well, it, it Starmer's it, Starmer's an interesting one because he he is a very classic example of the media. Of, of how the media hype machine yeah it no longer works yeah so in the, or at least to the same degree it once did so starmer has for a number of years been built up as like well he's the next prime minister and it's like he's ready he's to the next labor yeah, yeah, he, yeah he's ready to govern um for no other reason than the media's just decided like like that yeah. he it, it, he is and yet if you look at his approval ratings they're in the toilet his trust ratings are in the toilet yeah. like people aren't buying it yeah he's but... like a, he's got the charisma of a block of wood too <laughs> yeah know? no indeed like but it just it, he is very wooden and he doesn't yeah. connect with people and he also he he just i think that it, it, i always used to joke that he would be the most annoying person in the world to go out for a, a drink with because it would be like, well, what are you going to have here? And it'd be like, well, I would not like to commit to any particular like drink at this because he just he has this he has this masterful ability to say absolutely nothing yeah. in very protracted answers, uh -huh. um, and it's just like the but it's but, a but, British specialty. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean the British are very good at this, but it's like they the the. the so the, the entire media has decided that well he's the next prime minister and he deserves to be because reasons and people aren't buying it and I think yeah. it's actually quite similar to like Nikki Haley in the US because she was the anti-Trump candidate the Washington Post and the New York Times decided she was actually quite serious yeah despite the fact that she's a complete lunatic with and no credibility yeah. yeah and it's just like the, the, who didn't connect with people despite the fact the fact that you would think that some at least some of her positions would, would appeal to like the insane 
wing of the Republican yeah. Party. They're all Democrats now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and it's just you know. so uh, yeah. Th- I mean that that's very interesting. I just think just just more generally that we're probably we might see a hung parliament. We have Craig Murray, D- uh, George Galloway, that's and cool. al- other independents. We, we should get them on the show. Yeah. Um, th- th- like who are st- who are standing, um, and that could produce you know, and, and among among other independents, that that could produce interesting results. Um, we're probably on course. Based on polling for a for a Labour victory, although one in which people will vote with with pegs yeah. on, their, on their noses, um, and then, but then, we 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 will have the most unpopular government ever yeah. from day one, right? Which is quite, which and is then, quite... then in three months, Starmer <laughs> will be forced to resign. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's just like it's it's really it, uh, I find I find find it very interesting that you know at the start of the proxy war we were told. Um, well, the, you know, like Western unity and West government and public unity yeah. has never been stronger. And it's like most of these governments have now are now gone. Hey, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.